other goals I'm still working on is to put first things first and nothing else. To have your priorities set out for you in the beginning of the day and achieve them at the end. I've known when I've done that when I when I feel like I'm on top of things. So sometimes I usually wouldn't be on top of things, but I know when I am on top of things. See if something was due on Friday, and I would be done with it by Wednesday. That's how I know I'd be on top of things. What I do is I really like take a deep breath in and breathe out, like get myself like concentrated. It's a test and you'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. And just make sure that I know that I have that I know studying, studying, studying helps a lot. But also knowing that you could do it, it's, it helps a lot. It makes a big impact. So a lot of it is focusing on what I need to do, like taking a moment, just relaxing so that way I can concentrate. What I had a difficult time in is last year was math, the math facts, when it come into my mind as quickly as other people. So when I would do math problems, usually I was like the last one done or somewhere near the last. I felt very slow because everyone was getting it done, doing stuff afterwards, helping out the teacher, and I was still doing my math. I go up to the board and I think about it um, one step by another step. And the teacher, if I get it wrong or incorrect, I, I always ask the teacher for help or they just know to help me. And when they do, um, they don't tell me the exact answer. They want me to solve it. And if someone just tells you the answer, you're not learning the concept. So I like how they do it because you're actually learning it. And so that's how I'm better at math now. When I have an idea, it never turns out perfect right away because nobody is perfect. And that's how people are. So you have to try and try again. I think organization and self-control and those are very critical to being a good members of society. With Ethan, I've seen him grow in maturity and just the events that they participate. He now has a responsibility as a mindfulness coach in sixth grade to be a role model, to make sure that when he is in school or outside of school that he presents himself in a certain way, that when he does have a problem, he turns that breakdown into a breakthrough. At the beginning of each day, Ethan meets with the fourth grader that he mentors, and they talk about what they want to do during the day. And at the end of the day, they walk around the gym together, and they talk about their day, like two little men. <laughs> you know, and they say, well, what did you do today? What could you have done better when this problem occurred? And they discuss it, and they work it out together. I love it.